Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel if you've been here before and welcome to the channel if you haven't. My name is The Trading Card Frog and I'll be your host today. Today we have a, I, I guess it's special, I mean it's special for me, I, I'm not sure if it's special for, you know, Yugi tubers I guess in general, but um, yeah, we have a bunch of OTS packs and uh, I just love the colors of, of the Skittles, right? Uh, it's the colors of the rainbow, but you know, anyways, bad joke, bad joke. I should get a bunk for that one. Anyways, uh, so yeah, I've been saving up for a long time to get these. Uh, these I've had for a long time, as you can see, 10 and 12, very old. Um, 14, I think I only opened some packs during like the first month it came out. And after that, I thought to myself, well, I'll start accumulating them and uh, maybe eventually I'll have enough to make a video out of them. But that never happened. And uh, 15 came out and uh, just this past week, I got these two uh, basically for free at my local store. Um, I, I'm becoming very good friends with this store's owner because I, uh, I, I, I helped them out during the COVID situation by buying a lot of local products and stuff like that. Uh, and uh, they ended up giving me two of these plus the promo of the month instead of just the promo of the month uh, during my last purchase, which brought me to have over 10 packs total. Yes, we have 11 packs right here. And so I thought, well, I have more than 10, might as well start opening, right? So we'll keep these two for last because they're older and uh, we'll start with some 15. I've never opened any 15. I know there are some interesting ultimate rares in there and I know that some decent supers as well are amongst the pulls. So uh, let's get cracking. I'll try to keep at least one presentable pack wrapper uh, per set. Because I'm not sure if I have any of those in my collection of wrappers. I know it's stupid to collect wrappers, but I like them. Melfi Mommy Super! Nice! I am a big Melfi fan. Uh, because, well, obviously they're cute, but also they're kind of like... Rogue? They're not rogue, but they're they're kind of rogue. But their, their playstyle is very control, yet spamming. And that's just awesome. I love the deck. This is not a very relevant card for the deck, but everything else is foil in that deck. Well, the stuff you want to play, at least, is usually foil. So, getting this is nice. Like, this is a one-of in the extra deck. That's nice. I'm okay with this. I like it. Now, on to 14. Burger King, but less. Number 14. No, that's not the right number, right? Anyways, that's not the right number. Icarus Attack. The Phantom Knight of Shade Brigandine. That's nice. And Super Quantum Red Layer. That's not a bad card, actually. Um, it's a super, so I'm a little disappointed, and there seems to be a printing error right here. Look, look, the star is not fully shiny like the others, like it cuts like two-thirds of the way in. Like I'm trying to, y y you see like the glare does not start from the bottom, and there's this weird black spot right there. I'll try to move my lighting a bit, maybe like this. There we go. See? See, it's it's got a printing mistake. That's kind of weird. Anyways, this is a good card because it can special summon itself. And it's a warrior fire, so it was very um, thematic for that specific set in which, uh, you know, those... Uh, what's, what's the name again? There was a very meta fire deck, like the, 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 the knight things. Anyways, try white. Mahama and another mommy. Okay, I'll take it. I'll take it. One for the collection, one for the deck. Actually, it's the it's the girlfriend who has the deck at the moment. Um, hi, if you're watching. Anyways, uh, <laughs> uh, I hope eventually she'll master the deck and be able to uh, play it against me. But at the same time, it is my only semi-competitive deck that's still built. Everything else has been put in binders. Void Ogre. This is very nostalgic for me. I used to play the, the promo version of this in my competitive deck back in the days. A Pointer of Red Lotus. That is a very decent card. Uh, I, I mean, it's good if you're going first. If you're going second, it kind of sucks. I think I just... Yeah, okay. It's time for another 15! 
Griffin Wing. Oh wow, that's that's very old. That's very old. Shadow Vampire and Proxy F Magician. Now, why would I want this, you might ask? And, well, I don't. <laughs> I honestly don't care for this card. I know it's very playable, though. Like, it's two effect monsters only, and it's two arrows towards you, and the effect itself is good because it allows you to fusion summon uh, using monsters on the field for materials and stuff like that. Um, so, you know, it's, it's not bad. It's just I'm not quite sure why I would want it. Number 14... There we go. Raid Raptor, Evil Thorn, and Infinity General. Yeah, this I remember getting a couple of these when the, f the 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 pack first came out. Not too impressed by this one. You know what? The non-impressive cards I'll put there. Number fifteen. Are we going to get an ultimate rare today? I highly doubt it. I don't think ten packs from mixed sets will be enough. But who's to say, right? Who is to say? Mahama. Fairy, vampires, and crossover! Ta -da -da, ta -da -da -da. What does this even do? Target one face-up monster your opponent controls and one warrior monster you control. Equip that opponent's face-up monster to your monster. Oh, okay. That's that's nice. It's 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 a it's a target card, but it's still interesting. Uh your opponent takes no battle damage. Aw. Uh okay, for that monster only. Um you can only activate one of these. While equipped, if the equipped monster would be destroyed by battle or card effect. Yeah, okay. I don't really care. It's interesting, but it's not epic. That's the thing. So now we have one of each. <sighs> this is getting hard for me because I kind of do want to keep one of each sealed. And I don't have any other tournament packs in my vault. But for the sake of trying to get an ultimate, let's go ahead and open some packs, right? Let's go ahead and open some packs. This opened clean. Fresh. Let's do this. Arm Dragon level 5, Vampire's Domain, and Dogmatica Punishment. Nice. This is something I wanted. Uh, I like playing some uh, very controlled decks, and uh, even if I don't play Dogmaticas in my deck, I do want to play this and Entis, uh, especially if I play some like stupid stuff like Barrier Statues or stuff like that, because, well, for obvious reasons, Send and Tis pop 2, they can't special summon anyways, so they just wasted their normal summon. Turn ends, it's your move. Now you just hope to have more stuff to protect your statue, but that's that's a problem for future you. Now, 14. Please, please give us something better than a super. Well, I mean, there's only ultimate at this point, but you know. Fresh. Fresh, fresh, fresh. Let's go. Phantom Knight. Sheens and Unpossessed. That's that's okay, I guess. I mean I don't think I had three of these, so I will take it. But I kinda don't think I should run more than one in my familiar possessed deck anyways, so I guess I'll put it in the binder. I interrupt your regularly scheduled program to bring you the results! Yes, uh, there was a giveaway going on the month of March. <laughs> I'm a little late on this one. Uh, there was a big rush for the end of school term, and uh, I'm really sorry I had to take a week or two off uh, from YouTube, but there will be a lot of videos starting with this one, and these are the results of the giveaway that was going on until April 1st. Yes, uh, so we have three different entries yes only three people entered two on instagram which was the official way and uh, one person entered in the comments of a youtube video which uh well i decided to give them the chance to enter because you know not not a lot of people participated so might as well give them the chance and so um yeah i hope well i mean i hope you guys will get lucky so we'll do three runs and then we'll pick the winner. So the fourth name that will appear will be the winner, okay? Number one, number two, number three, and number four. Wow, <laughs> okay. So we had three times the same name, and then finally a fourth one. Well, uh, Val Valulu, Valulu, Valulu or Valulu? Anyways, uh, I, I guess with the dot here, it's Valulu. Anyways, uh, you're the winner, congrats! Um, I'll be contacting you on uh, Instagram because that's where you uh, entered the contest. 
and uh, hopefully, well, I mean, hopefully you'll enjoy. You get to choose between the Yu-Gi-Oh! package or the Pokemon package. Uh, so yeah, I'll be contacting you, and uh, thanks everyone for entering. Um, I expect another giveaway pretty soon, yes. Uh, yeah, so back to your regular program. Number 12! Whew. What can we get in number 12? It's been a while, I honestly do not remember what else was in this set. Like, it's time for a surprise, I guess. This was not as fresh as the others. But, front will be perfect, so we'll take it. My Q, brother. Oh, nice, we have a token. I do love my tokens. I collect tokens. I'm not sure if I had three of these or two, but I know I have at least two of these. This is nice. This might be my third. And if it's my fourth, well, I mean, at least I'll be able to uh, maybe trade it for a different token because a lot of people are playing Nibiru. So that's nice. That, that, that is nice. And we have number 10. Tournament pack number 10. This one has like a, a line in the middle. I don't know if you guys can see it. Like, yeah, in the glare you can see it a bit. Kind of weird. I guess this was a little too tight on the uh, wrapping assembly line. I've been saving this pack for so long, it kind of pains me to open it. And there's a line on the back of the card, so whatever the foil is, it's, it's gonna be something. PG and Battery Man Solar, that's that's kind of a letdown, but you know what, it's not bad. It used to be very popular back when Thunder Dragons were a thing, I believe, and uh, I did play Battery Man way back when it was uh, early on in the game, I guess, uh, in uh, GX slash 5D's era. I had a friend who played them uh, like as his main deck, that was the main thing he played, and uh, he really enjoyed it. And so I decided to try it out as well. And uh, I also very much enjoyed it. So, uh, yeah, good times, I believe. Yes, his name was Scott. I haven't spoken with him in so many years, but the guy was so nice. Like, he had a great radio voice. He was so polite. Uh, like, almost like a Ned Flanders, but without the, the, the awkward uh, neighborino, or odd, oakly, oakly, dookly. You know, like, such a great guy. Uh, anyways, good memories from, like, 12 years ago. Whew, been a long time. Anyways, we have two Melfi Mommies. We have one Red Leia. We have one Red Lotus. We have Solar, Nibiru, Token, and Dogmatica Punishment. And we have a few less noticeable supers. And we have Unpossessed. So yeah, overall, no ultimates, and I kind of expected it, but I am still disappointed we didn't get some. Uh, anyways, I'll take what I get, you know, I mean, all of these packs were pretty much just buy stuff and you get a pack for free, so... Red layer is very nice to have, Mommy is nice, a pointer is okay, Being is very good, Dogmatic Guy is very good, like, these two are probably worth, together, maybe 15 to $20 Canadian, <laughs> which is very nice. Um, so, you know, I won't complain. I won't complain. And I hope you guys enjoyed today's vid, because, you know, I did. Uh, and, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's been a long time in the making, and I hope you guys enjoyed. So, s <laughs> leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, ring the bell button. But whatever you do, stay positive, guys. And until next time, guys, it has been a pleasure. Bye. Thank you for watching the video, while you're here, please subscribe, but also beat up that like button and share with your friends. Also, visit my Instagram account, the TCG Frog, and hit my eBay store if you want some sweet deals, you never know what you will find.